Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Clay, and I am the Bucks Believer. After making all-star teams in each of the prior two seasons, Chris Middleton did not receive that same recognition this year. Even with that being said, this was arguably the best regular season that Chris has ever played, and he followed it up with a historic playoff run with plenty of legendary moments. In today's video, I will be breaking down all of the strengths and weaknesses of Middleton's game. In my opinion, the greatest strength of Chris Middleton's game is his shot creation. Chris has established himself as one of the best scorers in the league, and the numbers certainly back that up. Last year, Chris had an effective field goal percentage of better than 50% on shots that he created himself. That's better than the likes of Trey Young, Donovan Mitchell, and Jason Tatum, all three budding superstars in their own right. Middleton isn't doing this on a small sample size either, as more than one half of his made shots last season were unassisted. What makes this even more impressive is the fact that Chris rarely gets to the basket as just 15% of his made shots last season came at the rim. Overall, Middleton is forced to do almost all of his work on difficult jump shots either in the mid-range and th from beyond the three-point line, and the fact that he's able to knock those down as efficiently as he does is wildly impressive and make him an extremely dangerous scoring weapon for the Bucks offense. Another significant strength of Middleton's game is his shooting. He does this in a variety of ways, but primarily as an on-ball weapon. Middleton is one of the best players in the entire league at utilizing his length to take advantage of mismatches. He's terrific in face-off opportunities when he's defended by either a smaller or slower player. If he's guarded by a small guard, he's able to use his size and length to shoot right over them, and if he's guarded by a slow big man, he's terrific at using his ball handling and dribble skills to create separation and jack up an open look. Middleton is also very good as an off-the-ball weapon, as he's terrific at moving without the ball and is an absolute knockdown shooter whenever left open. Last year, he made 41.4% of his three-point shots, and that was his fifth career season of making more than 40% of his shots from beyond the arc. Chris's ability to both create shots for himself and to be a knockdown guy playing off the ball make him a perfect complement to Giannis Antetokounmpo, as late in playoff games, Giannis can struggle to create shots for himself. And at that time, Middleton can take over, but for most of the game, when Giannis has the ball in his hands, Chris is also still very effective. So overall, this is one of the best pairings in the league, and Chris's shooting is a big reason why it all works. Perhaps the most underrated of Middleton's strengths is his playmaking. Last year, Chris had a career-high 23.2% assist rate, and he was frequently allowed to showcase his passing abilities. This skill allows him to be a very high-level pick-and-roll ball handler, and the Bucks frequently ran this set for him with Giannis Antetokounmpo or Brooke Lopez as the screening weapon. Middleton is great at scoring out of the pick-and-roll, but he also made improvements last season at finding his teammates out of that action. This was especially evident on lob passes, as Middleton is probably the best alley-oop passer that the Bucks have. He frequently was able to serve up the ball on a silver platter for Antetokounmpo or Lopez, resulting in an easy dunk for one of the Bucks' big men. Middleton is also good as a pocket passer and is able to find players in the dunker spot whenever he's driving to the basket. Overall, Middleton's playmaking is a terrific complement to his ability as a scorer and is a huge piece of what makes him such an accomplished offensive player player. I think that I'm probably quite a bit higher on Chris Middleton than the majority of people around the NBA. I consider Chris a top 20 player in the league, and I think that he's become the absolute best player that he could possibly be after years of hard work and improvement. Even with that being said, I can acknowledge that Chris does have some flaws. Unfortunately, these flaws are oftentimes more obvious than Chris's strengths, and that leads to him receiving unnecessary levels of criticism. Because of that, you've probably heard all of the weaknesses that I'm going to outline in this video before, but I'm still going to touch on them even if it is pretty brief. Middleton's biggest weakness is his lack of natural athletic explosion. For as good as Chris is at making difficult contested jump shots, to be a tier 1 superstar in the NBA, you have to be able to generate easy shots for yourself. 
That's just not something that Chris is able to do. As I said before, he takes just 15% of his shots at the rim. That means that he's almost always relegated to taking those difficult shots from outside the paint. Well, Chris is certainly capable of making those and does so at as high of a level as any other player in the league. His inability to create easy shots for himself is what prevents him from being an MVP candidate and instead keeps him at a borderline all-NBA level. Chris's lack of athletic explosion also hurts him a bit on the defensive end of the court. This is true as an off-the-ball defender, as there are some times where Chris is expected to make a rotation or contest a shot, and he's just not able to get there in time because he's not quick enough or not explosive enough to get to the spot and block the shot. Middleton also can struggle at times as an on-the-ball defender, as he can't keep some of the quicker guards in the NBA in front of him. The only other significant weakness of Middleton's game that I could think of was his ball handling. Last year, Chris had a 13.1% turnover rate, which was his worst in four seasons. Middleton especially struggled when opposing teams would trap him in the pick and roll. When the opposition ran out this scheme, you could basically count on Chris having a five turnover game, as he would oftentimes panic and end up turning the ball over, leading to some easy shots for the opposition. However, Middleton saw this same type of scheme during the playoffs, especially in the finals when Phoenix was frequently bringing two players to the ball whenever the Bucks ran a pick and roll. Middleton was fabulous at navigating through this trap as he was oftentimes able to find Giannis either on the roll or later on in the possession when Giannis would seal his man off for an easy shot. Middleton's ball handling does have some room for improvement, but I think that he's made significant strides there in the last postseason, and those, if they do continue, will lead to him being a genuine positive in this category. Doubts have surrounded Chris Middleton his entire career. He started off as a second-round pick who very few people believed in. Then he grew into being a starter, but most doubted he could take the next step to being an all-star. Once he did make a couple all-star teams, folks started saying that he could never be the second option on a championship team. This past postseason, Chris proved everyone wrong with multiple 20-point quarters, game-winning shots, and even a 40-point masterpiece in the NBA Finals. Middleton has established himself as a top 20 player in the league and a monstrous scoring weapon for years to come. For all of these reasons, I'm going to give Chris Middleton an A for this past season. As always, we'll wrap up this video by asking what comes next for Chris Middleton. Very similar to what the answer to that question was for Giannis Antetokounmpo, Chris is going to be playing a whole lot more games in a Milwaukee Bucks uniform. Middleton's deal still has three years and $114 million remaining on it, including a $40.4 million player option on the final season. The Bucks have their core of Giannis, Chris, and Drew Holiday signed to long-term extensions, and considering they won the championship last season, there doesn't seem to be any reason why they'd want to trade any of those three players, so I'm banking on Middleton being a Milwaukee Buck for more seasons to come. Thank you all for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, especially if you are a fellow Bucks believer. This is the place for you. Also, let me know what your favorite Chris Middleton moment was from this past season in the comment section down below. For me, there are two big ones that stand out in my mind. The first is the game-winning shot he made in Game 1 of the first round against the Miami Heat that gave the Bucks a 1-0 lead in that series. The second is the 20-point explosion that he had in the third quarter of Game 6 of the Eastern Conference Finals to eliminate the Atlanta Hawks. Let me know what your favorite Middleton moment was in the comment section down below. I think that I've covered everything that I wanted to cover now, so that's going to be it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all again very soon.